welcome to Northern Lights over Arkham. I'm JP and this time I'm starting a new campaign. I will be playing Calvin Wright uh, through the Circle Undone campaign. So first I have to play the prologue scenario Disappearance at the Twilight Estate. So this is what we're doing this time and I'll be playing uh, Penny White. Penny White uh, is a neutral investigator that you can play outside of this scenario. So uh, let's first look at the story why we're uh, here. So there is a charity gala at the Twilight Estate of Joseph Miger and suddenly a sinister mist rolls into the uh, estate and now Penny is in trouble fighting ghosts and trying to just survive as long as possible. And that's where we start. So let's uh, look a bit what we have for the player cards for Penny. Uh, Penny starts with a knife and flashlight and also dig deep. The flashlight only has two charges on it. Uh, Penny's hand is two able bodies. Uh, two acts of desperation, one extra flashlight, one knife, a stray cat and one lucky. So with these cards we need to get as many clues as possible and survive as long as possible. The Spectral Watcher is after us and we already have a raid on us and there's also Whispers in the Dark in play at the start of the game. Uh, we can't survive this scenario but the objective is to just last as long as possible. So uh, with that let's get started. If you like my content hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Okay, uh, first we need to deal with the braid engage with us. So uh, we have a knife and our attack is three. So we have a four against two and I'm playing on standard difficulty. So I think we have a good chance of just trying to kill the raid by just attacking. I could also uh, dis discard the knife, but I think I'll save that for a later turn. So, first action, we'll attack the braid for against two. And I'm not uh, committing any cards at the moment, so we get an Elder Sign. And Elder Sign is plus one. And if it, this is a skill test during the revelation effect, you may take an additional action. Well, it's not a revelation effect, but uh, we managed to do one damage to the raid. Second action, uh, we'll hit a second time. So four against two. It's uh, minus one, so we managed to kill off the braid and last action I'll use the flashlight and I'll investigate one versus zero so anything but an auto fail will succeed here uh, we get a plus one so we get this clue and that is our turn we go to the enemy phase, so the Spectral Watcher moves to the Victorian Halls. And because we don't have a draw deck, we can't draw more cards, but we still gain resources. So we gain one more resource. And I forgot to mention that Penny White starts the game only with two resources, so I'm up to three resources now. And at the end of the round, we discard the whispers in the dark. 
So that is the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add one Doom onto the agenda. The agenda has a forced uh, effect. After Doom is placed on any card, each investigator must either take one damage or one horror, two damage or two horror instead, if there's five or more Doom in play. Because we have more health than sanity, I'll take one damage. Then we get an encounter card. It's terror in the night. So we are testing uh, willpower 4 against 4. I won't uh, commit any cards to this. I actually don't have any cards to commit. I could use the deep deep, but I think I'll just... Uh, I'm feeling quite, quite confident I will uh, succeed or not fail at by 3 or more. So let's see. I get a zero, so I actually passed this test, so we get to discard it. And then we have uh, a whole turn uh, in front of us, so I think the first action will be to move into the master bedroom. The master bedroom has a shroud of three and one clue. And the haunted effect is place one of your clues onto the master bedroom. Well, I think I will use the flashlight to investigate here. I am one versus one, so I'm thinking that I'll use lucky to pass the test even if I get down to zero. So let's see. Uh, minus three, so we are at zero. So I'll play the lucky. So we succeed. And last action, I think I'll move back because the spectral watcher is heading our way so I think that is our turn the spectral watcher moves into the master bedroom and we get one resource at the end of the round so that is that turn let's go to the next turn uh, we add another doom and we have to take a damage or horror, so I'll take the damage. And the encounter card is uh, obscuring fog, so it goes on to the location and does nothing basically because we already have the clue from here. And I think this turn we'll move, evade and move again. So we get to the other side and can start looking for clues on that side. So, first action, I'll move into the master bedroom. The spectral watcher will engage us. Uh, second action, I'll... Um, could I attack the spectral watcher? I could uh, throw the flashlight, uh, hit once. Well, I don't have the actions. I think I'll keep to my original plan and just try to evade. So um, we get... I have two of your item assets, so I get uh, a total of two agility from this one. So I'm uh, agility four against three. I'll use two resources with the uh, dig deep. So I'm six versus three. So I need a uh, minus three or better to evade. It's a uh, minus two, so we succeed at evading. And last action, I'll move to the Victorian halls. 
And the Victorian Halls is a forced route location, haunted, lose one action, zero clues here. So that is our turn. And uh, enemy face, nothing happens, upkeep, the spectral watcher readies, and we gain one resource. And that is that turn. So let's go to the next turn. Okay. Mm, we have three Doom in play. We take another damage. Yep, yeah, I'll take the damage. And the encounter card is... Crypt Chill. Yeah, well, uh, I'm just testing 4 versus 4 because uh, we can just uh, lose the flashlight that's already empty. So, I fail, and the flashlight is discarded, and that is that. So first action, uh, I think I won't go to the office, I'll just go to the trophy room. And it's a two shroud location with one clue, and haunted lose two resources for each resource you cannot lose from this effect, take one horror. Uh, second action, I'll play the second flashlight. And last action, I'll use the flashlight to investigate. So I'm uh, one versus zero. So everything but the auto fail succeeds. And it's an uh, Elder Sign, so we get the clue, and that is our turn. So, enemy base, the Spectral Watcher is coming after us. And that is the turn, we get a resource at the upkeep base, and we can proceed to the next turn. Uh, we have for Doom on the agenda, and I think I'll keep taking the damage. I'm uh, at 4 damage of 7. And the encounter card is... Oh dear, Watcher's Grasp. So, uh, heal 3 damage from the Spectral Watcher. Ready the Spectral Watcher. It moves, engages, and attacks as if it were the enemy phase. Throughout the resolution of this effect, the Spectral Watcher gains prey you. So this isn't good, so the Spectral Watcher moves at our location, engages, and attacks. So fortunate, unfortunately we have to take one damage and one horror. We can't do anything about that. That is the Mythos phase, so Investigation phase. I think I'll have to... I could just fight, fight the Spectral Watcher this turn. Uh, I think I'll just evade it again. So I will use the Able Bodied again. And two resources. And actually, um, there's one minus four in the back, so just to be extra sure, I'll use the, all of the three resources. I'm seven versus three for the evade. And I'll get a zero. So we evade the Spectral Watcher. Uh, second action, I'll move to the billiards room. The billiards room is a three shroud location with one clue haunted. You must either discard an asset you control or take one damage. And I think I will. Um, I think I will just have to try and investigate. So I'll use the flashlight. I'm one versus one. 
I have no way of boosting my investigation higher, so I need a zero, an elder sign, or a plus one to succeed. Everything else fails. I really wish I had the lucky still in hand, but it is what it is, and if we fail, we can just discard the knife. Okay, so let's see. Uh, minus three. Uh, if you fail and this is an attack or evasion attempt, resolve each haunted ability at, on your location. Well, it wasn't, so we just have to discard something. So we discard the knife, and that is our turn. Uh, so the Spectral Watcher doesn't do anything. In upkeep it readies, and we gain one resource. And... That is our turn. So let's see if we still can get the fourth clue before we get defeated. So on to next turn. Okay, so uh, we have five Doom in play. And now there's five Doom in play, so I have to take uh, two damage or two horror. So I will take the horror, because if I take the damage, I'll die. And the encounter card is uh, Fate of All Fools. Uh, revelation, you must de decide, choose one. If there is no other copy of Fate of All Fools in play, put Fate of All Fools in play in your threat area. So I'll just put it in my threat area. So we got a lucky break there. And this turn, I think we'll have to... I think I'll play the Stray Cat before I do anything else. And first action, uh, second action, We'll use the flashlight to investigate. So again, uh, I'm one versus one for the investigation, and we'll need a zero, a plus one, or an elder sign to succeed. Anything else will fail. So, uh, good luck to us. Uh, minus three, so we fail. So I'll discard the flashlight. And uh, last action. There is no way to get the clue off of the location with the cards I have. And unfortunately the Spectral Watcher is elite, so the Stray Cat doesn't help us. At least we can, uh, with the help of the Stray Cat, survive until we get to the next Mythos phase. And maybe we can, we can get defeated by the horror or damage dealt to us by the agenda. So I'll just for my last action I'll just uh, gain a resource. So play, uh, investigate, yeah. Last action was to get the resource. So enemy face, the spectral watcher moves in location engages us and hits us. Uh, the damage goes to the stray cat and I'll take the horror. Okay so that is the turn. Upkeep I'll gain one resource and let's go to the next turn which will be the last. So we add the sixth doom onto the agenda. That means we'll have to take uh, either two damage or two horror. I'll just take the damage. So we have uh, seven damage. And that's enough to defeat us. So after uh, when an investigator is defeated, the investigator must advance this agenda. Do not remove any doom from this agenda when it advances. 
uh, we record into the missing person section in our campaign lot that uh, yeah so penny white was pulled into the spectral realm unfortunately we would have needed one more doom to get the quote unquote good uh, ending <laughs> so that we would have uh, been disappeared into the mist but we're uh, pulled into the spectral realm and we record in our campaign log uh, three pieces of evidence because we gained three clues and then we choose an investigator and proceed to the scenario one the witching hour okay so uh, that was the prologue uh, it's a uh, Sometimes a bit tedious to play again and again, but uh, because I've played it so many times, uh, it's, it's not that big of a deal to quickly set it up and try to do as uh, well as you can in it. That's the prologue. So Penny White got pulled into the spectral realm. And let's continue next time in the witching hour with Calvin Wright. So thanks for watching and until next time.